bring this on. Press it. Oh, oh. She looks, she's already in. All right. Let's see. Hey, hey. Hi, <laughs> she, she's first person back too. <laughs> yeah, I literally said your name. I literally said your name on the other one. Hi, Raven. Love you. <laughs> but yeah, man. So um, yeah, I was saying I got coconuts, but they're just on my chest. All women have balls. <laughs> they are coconuts and they are on their chest. Ah. So like people are always amazed when I'm selling my music on the streets because they're like, you're a girl, like that's crazy or whatever. Right. And um, so they automatically either are super inappropriate or they're super like for what I'm doing. Um, I've had some crazy stories. Like I had a guy pull his thing out on me before, like selling my music. And I always make sure I'm covered up really good and everything, but you know, you just never know how people are going to react. So I have to be ready at all times, like, for anything, you know, and be be careful. Of course, I didn't do nothing with that. Let me make that clear. But, um, right. yeah, you just, you just, um, you have to always just be aware of your surroundings and keep yourself safe. Like, yeah. keep your head on swivel. But, uh, as they say, but, yeah. That I forgot that. what the question was, but it was something where I was telling you I had coconuts. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. All, all women have coconuts. Yeah. We all have balls. Just... Follow these. Follow these. <laughs> That's my uh brand. Oh yeah. So this is my merch here. These are the sweatpants. Right. These. these. For the guys, you know, or girls. And then we just got these in. These are some new hoodie. I mean, not hoodie. Uh, baseball type shirt here you know what now that i think about it i did have a question with for you in regards to girl skirts yes sir yes and then this is the vegan lipstick and lip gloss here yeah, mm. yeah. let yeah. them know let them mm. know and Not if you would and if, and if you would like to sponsor some future episodes you just let me know Babe, that way. follow these sure follow, <laughs> follow these coconuts <laughs> Follow these coconuts. <laughs> yes, sir. Bit. That's a bit. I'm <laughs> I'm sponsored by these. These <laughs> <laughs> <D> nuts. <laughs> for sure, for sure. I would uh yeah, like like I said, we'll have that conversation in the future. But you know, you uh you had a question on Twitter and I, now that I think about it, you were rock you were rocking the D's. Oh, uh, and it said, what is your reason for waking up every day? Um, you said, mine used to be other people. Now it's to spread God's message. I want to, I want to talk, talk to us about that answer, right? Like, you know, how is it that you're doing that as you, you know, maneuver through the world? Child, when I tell you I've had 55 day jobs in my lifetime. Right. I... Each time um, I ended up leaving the day job was because it was I, it was never because I didn't work hard. That was never the problem. I usually was like the top sales person or whatever for whatever job I had at that time. I've worked at Neiman Marcus, at Macy's. Um, I've worked at uh, different firms and different things like that. But when you have a day job, it's... Um, when your your real calling is is knocking at the door, you usually try to ignore it and you just still want to do that day job. So I was ignoring my calling, but not ignoring it at the same time. So like if I had an audition or something like that, I would <laughs> all of a sudden, you know, my throat is uh, I don't feel good and uh, I gotta go. And then they'll see my Instagram and I'm like, hey. hey. just you are a wonderful employee but we just um 
you know, you 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 should really focus on modeling and and doing your music thing. You seem extremely serious about it, and you just like God has been forcing me. And mm -hmm. then for the music thing, I hear the lyrics. Most of my lyrics come when I'm asleep, right. and it sounds like an angel is like singing in my ear. And I don't know how to describe it, but I literally am woken up in the middle of the night or I have to wake myself up in the middle of the night because it'll sound pretty. I realize it's like in a dream or something. I have to force myself to wake up and then I'll just start. My hand is just going. Right. Or I'll have to like, it'll be a certain way that it's saying or it's wrapped or whatever. So I'll, I'll just record myself and then take my little sleepy butt right back to sleep. <laughs> and um and it, it never fails like God will introduce me to a person or somebody I'm already cool with will be like hey I have this fire beat you know and it, it just goes like it always goes with the beat it always goes perfectly with the beat so like if you listen to my like a square's daughter or if you listen to um the the album Desiree they're both like most of those songs I heard when I was asleep. And when I tell you, I got, like, literally, I have, like, tablets on tablets on tablets next to my bed because it's every day. And um, I was going through, like, a depression. I had something really horrible happen. And um, I, I I would write to come out of it. And I made a pact with God. Okay, I'm going to write a, one song every day for the rest of the year. And I just wanted to be able to, just in case, like, you know, if you mean Snoop Dogg and he like, let's go to the studio. Like, right. you know I'm saying these, follow these, these nuts all the time. That's like somebody I look up to. And <laughs> they they were on some indie stuff too because nobody really, they were gangsters. So people didn't really want to, you know, take them seriously and stuff. And, yep. um, yeah, so he, they had to pull their boots up from their bootstraps. So um, just, just knowing that I didn't want, that situation to happen where I'm like, oh, well, I got to go to sleep tonight. And then uh, when I wake up, you know, I'll be able to come back and meet y'all at this studio. So I'll be like, <laughs> so I just made sure, I just made sure I was able to like still be able to present something to people. So for a year straight, um, when I moved to Los Angeles, it was like in between um I, between my transition from Houston to moving to Los Angeles um I wrote one song a day for a year straight but sometimes like crazy stuff would happen and I would feel like God was like not telling me because that's false prophesizing mm -hmm. um you don't you, God is does not just say words to me um mm -hmm. and I don't believe in it but uh um I feel like it was stuff would happen like where I was forced to almost write like one time all the power went out in my whole like neighborhood and it was when I had just moved into my new house in Los Angeles I was in Diamond Bar and I used to have to take two buses and three trains <clears throat> two buses and three trains to get to gigs like if I had an audition if I had a meeting with a, a musician or um if I had studio time or wherever I was going um especially if it had to do it. And just imagine, like, I'm working at, like, a little gym. I worked at, a, I think, L.A. Fitness or something when I was there. <laughs> In Diamond Bar, though. So right. imagine tell, <clears throat> my throat, uh, excuse me, uh, uh, sir, can I leave to uh, go to this, uh, my, my throat and then they seen on Instagram, I'm, like, all the way to heck in, in uh, in Calabasas somewhere in like Lil Romeo's music video, like just all on my phone. Like, so it was, um, it was, it was cool, but it was, it was, uh, it was a forced thing. Like, I feel like God was forcing me to live my purpose and I, I didn't want to listen. I kept taking the day jobs, but I'm so grateful that like, I can do it wherever I am. Like I can sell CDs and flash drives and this, digital download version of my album in New York. I can do it in Houston. I can do it in LA. I can do it anywhere. So I don't have to rely on working for somebody else, which I really, I mean, I was a good, good, uh, I don't, I don't want to say that I was a good, um, steward when I was working day jobs, but I didn't want to just rely on that. Cause 
you know, somebody get jealous or get mad at you. You know, you you know what you need to do. You need to just go model. That's what you need to do. <laughs> you, you uh, you don't need to be here no more. Not at Neiman Marcus, honey. You you are not taking this job seriously. So, not at Neiman Marcus. Mm, Neiman Marcus. That's Neiman like, Marcus. Uh, you got you to gotta say Mark. That's how you spell it. M-A-H-H-H-C-U-S-S-S. <laughs> Neiman Mark. I see a song right there. Okay. <laughs> Facts. Hey, That's us. And spell it out there. Neiman Mark. Neiman Mark. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. When you, and when you make that song, Make sure you shout out Ezel Moon. You dig, so I, you know, what I'm saying. Hey, I might hey. need your voice on that thing. You can just say it, Nimi Mark. Nimi Mark, I got gotcha. the bass. I can't do that. <laughs> Only when I don't drink enough water can I sound, can I sound a little, a little raspy. No, I feel, I'm, I, 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 I feel you. Hey, do you yeah, like? Do, that. do you do you like water? Like, be honest. Do you like water? Yes. You you, you actually do. Yeah, You're better than me. Like I, I'm like, man, water is is here or there, bro. Like I, I drink it because I know I need to drink it, but it's like it ain't got no taste. I learned something though. Um, I recently was in a fire, like at my apartment. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> my homegirl's like, bitch, you can't cook. <laughs> <laughs> But no, nah, look, look, no, nah, I was in a fire in my apartment. It was like a grease fire. I was making some uh some sweet potato fries. And um I the smoke alarm didn't work. That's what really happened. I could cook, but the smoke alarm didn't go off. And um I was right there. I was right there. I was right. I was I was there. I didn't leave the kitchen. I, Man, I, said, I didn't say nothing. Keep going. Keep going. It's like whoosh. And like I, I did some crash dummy stuff. I didn't know you couldn't put water on the I put water on it. I put <laughs> I put water. This was like a month ago. So I'm still healing. But look, I was saying the water thing to say when I got my scars, they're almost fully healed. And I don't have scars anywhere else, no tattoos, nothing because of modeling. So I really have to I had to nurture and nurse this crazy scar thing trickling down my leg from this grease spraying on my leg, on my left leg. I could show it to you, but I need to shave it at least. And that's, uh, that's my, that's my fault. I just was doing my self love self care today. Cause I told you I ain't slept in three days, friend. That I told makes you I ain't slept in three days. I've been locking my shit up like four, four knots, my music and stuff. But yeah, so I hadn't, um, but the water I learned, if you wash your leg like three times a day, OMG, Des, how many times you set off the fire alarm when I visit you? <laughs> oh, yeah, I was making her popcorn. <laughs> but that was the alarm in my bedroom, bro. That wasn't the, that wasn't the, the fire alarm. No, popcorn? That wasn't the... <laughs> Rob, popcorn? I make ghetto, I make ghetto popcorn for my, for my, my visitors at my apartment. And I put, you put pretty much a whole bunch of butter. You make it from scratch on the stove. It's really good. Like it was good though. You liked it. You took some home, nigga. But um, uh, and then you just put all the seasonings in the cabinet in there. Like you put um, it's fire. Don't don't sleep. I'm gonna make a video about it soon. It's fire. My ghetto popcorn I, I, is true. I believe I, be, I believe it. I, yeah. I believe it. <laughs> yeah, my uncle Bone said he wanted some too. I gotta make my uncle Bone some. Bun B manager. He wants some too. Yeah, Got but uh, yeah, so <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, you just I I forgot what we was talking. Yeah, the water. So you wash if you wash your leg like three times a day after you put your ointment on, it heals faster. So this burn has it's almost gone, but it's only been on my leg for like two weeks. And like, if I showed you, I can, I can probably, well, that's the doing the most, but I just posted it. So it's on my story. If you look at my story on my Instagram, see, it was good. What's up? <laughs> she said it was good. It was good popcorn. My ghetto popcorn, the truth. Hey, you got to try my ghetto oatmeal, Raven. My ghetto oatmeal, the truth. You get a tea bag and you douse that in there. You douse that in, in a regular, oat. you get the, the, the regular oatmeal, right? The regular Quakers or or whatever you cook it 
then in the water before you put the oatmeal in you put a tea bag of your choice your favorite kind of tea I like green tea in mine. Green tea oatmeal is so good to me, but they, you can do jasmine flavor oatmeal. You can do, you know, the little the little seasonal pack that you get during around yeah. Christmas time and your mama got all the yeah. little yeah. Yeah. Them, the cherry, with the mint. cherry yeah. oatmeal. Baby, <laughs> my oatmeal is good, honey, okay? It is good. Do not sleep. Do not sleep. These okay. recipe book next. Yes, ghetto, ghetto uh, recipes from Ray Ray, from from Ray Ray now. These ghetto recipes. Yeah, yeah. Yep, there it is. Uh, that's the title. That's the title of the book, y'all. I yeah. promise. Coming out soon, okay? <laughs> Don't play with me, cause I will do it. Ask Raven. <laughs> I believe it. I they believe. Get executed over here. <laughs> man, come on, man. We got. I wanna. I, I want. Yo, you know what? <laughs> Do I look like I'm playing to y'all? You I, see the part? Is, I believe that you will do whatever it is that you set your mind to because that is... Everybody that is. can. Yep. Eat your Wheaties. Hey, so I'm not going to lie to you for my oatmeal, though, like high key. Um, I always put... uh, about like, to say put sugar, but I'll... But I'll, I'll, I'll I put um syrup in it, too. Mm-hmm. That's so nasty. It's good. It's so good. It's so good. Me. It's so good. You talking about, about, you're talking about putting tea bags in your oatmeal, but me putting syrup is nasty. You know what? To each All his right, own. Right. I didn't judge. You know, no, I, I ain't judging you. I ain't judging okay, you, but cool. uh, I ain't doing it. That's not like that. <laughs> <can be. laughs> Man, that in, in a spout. <laughs> Lord. And that sugar free syrup is is ugh. I can't I gotta eat the real syrup if I'm gonna no, eat syrup. I, get, I, I get that I get that uh butter flavored syrup. That's I don't know why it's so good to me. Question. Mm -hmm. Just a random weird question I asked my friends. Since you since you raving people, you you know what I'm saying, we we people. So okay. do you like waffles or are you pancake? Which one? Bruh. Waffles, pancake. Man, it's so hard nowadays because I barely get a chance to eat breakfast, but I... That's how you lose weight. You ain't I'm trying still, to lose weight, though, huh? No, nah, I'm trying to, like... I'm still trying to, like... Game? Get, yeah. Oh. I'm... Yeah, so I, I honestly prefer pancakes, man. Pancakes? It's pancakes because I, I'm so traditionally used to it, but I got so many memories of, like, Waffles. Good. I have so many good waffle memories. Yes, I love like, waffles. Back when I used to drink Waffle House, oh my god. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. From like in Houston and in Dallas, like oh my god, so <laughs> many Waffle House memories. There's this one. I don't know what what hotel that is, but it's some hotel in in Texas that I've been to a lot. Mm -hmm. For some reason, but I can't remember the name of it. But it's like, I think it's the Marriott. I think mm. it's the Marriott. I stayed there for like a year when I was doing this uh, TV show, and they had the Texas one, the Texas waffle with the waffle iron. I need to get one of those. Oh man, it's like I clean. It's shaped like like Texas. Yeah. Dang. Which one was that yeah. one? I actually had that before. Oh. Uh... I can't remember which one Dang, that is. But I'm to die like a mother. Oh no! <laughs> I can't remember which one it is, but uh, you know, I do. I do recall like having a lot. I had a lot of those waffles too. Uh, man, All right, if my phone die, I'm totally okay. understand. Let me go ahead. I I got these last two questions for you, and then I we can go ahead and wrap up, and you know, we'll hop on the live if you would like to uh, at another time just to chop it up. And I definitely would like to, you know, uh, I'm going to shout out your music as well. So the goal of the goal of this show is philanthropy, garnering support mm -hmm. from the audience and putting it towards a charity or nonprofit that you care about. Mm -hmm. What charity or nonprofit would you like to spotlight today? And why is the cause of the face is so important to you? Um, I wasn't prepared to answer this question, but I actually am working on my own nonprofit organization as well. 
Um, I can't speak too much on it because I'm still getting the 501c3 approved. Gotcha. Um, but it will be out very soon. But um, it's for children. And okay. um, it's it's for for us. It's for people of color, I'll say. It's for, um, you know, uh, black kids, Hispanic kids, Indian kids, Asian kids. And I don't want to leave out, you know, Irish kids, too, because I'm uh, black Irish as well. That's why I have the little Scot Scottish uh, skirt or whatever as well. And it's named yeah. after my little sister, Hope. It's called the Hope Blackrish uh, skirt, schoolgirl skirt. And she just got accepted into Washington University, which is a very prestigious school. And I'm um, very proud of her. But um, I will say probably for kids. Kids are, it's, it, it, it be sounding cheesy sometimes to people, but I really feel like kids, like, who gonna feed you your, your tea bag oatmeal? Who, you know, when I'm, when I can't, when I can't get up there and, and stir it, God, you know, God willing, I, I live that long. Somebody need to make my ghetto oatmeal for me, cook it up, you know, when that arthritis kick in from drawing and writing all these songs and everything, God forbid, because I, I don't even want arthritis, but... I, you know the babies is important we gotta have the, the babies that too babies the babies all the babies okay so the, what i'll do is i'll definitely tag one um i'll tag uh a charity for to dedicate this video to abuse uh, babies abuse babies abuse children okay i got you i'll definitely make sure that we that um that it, it will we'll tag a charity that that uh, specializes with abused children. That is actually a uh, a community that I do want to make sure that we that we highlight. I appreciate you bringing them to light this evening. Uh, before we and close, Shape out, Center, Shape Center too, in Third Ward. So very said, amazing. Doing? Shape Center in Third Ward. That's a, a amazing um, nonprofit organization as well. Um, mm -hmm. They they help kids, adults. They march with uh, Malcolm X, Martin Luther King as well. Um, they aren't biased, and um, they looked out for me one time when I was going through some um, some uh, I don't know what the word is to say. I was going through some troubles with the uh, government, uh, and uh, they looked out for me too and helped me with some some things. So that's a really really great organization too and they help kids and abuse kids too most definitely all right we'll tag the shakes in there as well uh, yeah, appreciate thank you. all right uh you know before we close out we always like to close with words of wisdom for the next generation so i wonder yeah, you, i like what, that <laughs> so you know i wonder what words of wisdom would you have for those that are struggling with being in a cycle of similar mistakes. Repeating the same thing mm -hmm. over and over and expecting a different result is insanity. If you don't understand what that means, but you are repeating the same mistake, you may be insane. So you may need to speak with someone who is licensed, a therapist, a pastor. The pastor will help with your spirit, but you have to reprogram your mind so you're not making those same mistakes. So I would recommend working with a pastor as well as a therapist so that you can get that taken care of. Um, once you get both of those rewired, your spirit and your mind, it will help with everything else. That's for children and adults. Mm. Most definitely, I love that. How so? How can we support you? How can we help? How can we uh make sure that we're showing love to you? Look, what hello. We... I'm about to sound like one of my uncles. Get you some vegan lipstick and lip gloss. It's right here. <laughs> we got a uh, vegan lipstick and lip gloss on my website, thedesiree.com. We got the Blackrish Hope Schoolgirl skirt. We got the uh baseball follow these baseball tees, them things clean. Shout out to Neha t shirts, they make all my stuff and um designs with wings, they make my stuff too. Then we got the D's pants. You can um follow um on Instagram, follow these brand, follow me on Instagram, D Desiree McKinney, 
and um come to shows i put my own shows together as well and i i'm doing a lot all by myself i'm a, yeah that's the that's the stuff was uh it's very moisturizing very very moisturizing and uh i see somebody i was about to tell Azel to moisturize his oh Boy, that's that's uh Woo! that's a great comedian friend of mine <laughs> He be playing. He be playing. No. Look, I did. Okay, all my stuff I got color in it. I need to make me some some clear. Some actually, I do have. I just didn't post it yet. I and I actually make this stuff at home at the house. I I play my uh my cooking music. I play some Gucci Man or something. And I get the whipping. And I make my yeah. lipstick and my lip gloss at the house. I blast it real loud, you know, and I just get in my cooking mode. Make sure I don't burn nothing, you feel me? Right. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Your face. laughs> hey, big shouts out to Twan, man. Y'all make sure y'all go follow <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he is a comedian. I didn't even see that. He's funny. No, for real, for real. Definitely, like, whenever you get a chance, you should check out, like, whatever, you, like, his shows. Like, man's is, man's is fire, for real, for real. We're going to have the conditioner up next week just for you. Hey, you know what, though? Like, you say you throw your own shows. Bring. I do. Have a small comedy, have a comedy section. Bring them on. I, I need a comedian to open up for this show. So I'm doing Match. It holds 760 people. That'll be the next show I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Um, If I'm... I'm looking at January, between January and March to have the, the first show and match. So if you're interested in, in um, opening up and doing a comedy set, please reach out. Um, my phone number can be found on my website as well. So, yeah, that, that was funny. Yeah, I, Twan, I, there you go, man. There it is. Make sure <laughs> make that connection, my boy. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, thank you again so so much for your time, your energy today. Um, I def I'm gonna be I'm gonna be following these brand. Yay! Oh, uh, and yeah, man, I appreciate you, Cecilia. Yeah, shout out to Phil Way too for the House of Blues plug. We did um House of Blues. It was storming that day. I texted the two thousand people in my phone, and I was terrified that nobody was gonna show up, and it was hard to walk in there. And that spot holds about. I think about two to three hundred people and it was mm. packed out there. So the next one will be even better and onward and upward and much success to you. Thank you for having me. Raven, thank you again, girl, for um just plugging me in with your homeboy. And I owe you a million because you plugged me in, in in uh the Virgin Islands too, girl. You are dope and we gotta get drinks to celebrate soon. Love you so much, Raven. Thank you, Azelle. God bless you. 